Round six of the BMW IBS F two-man World Cup. We're in Altenburg in Germany, the toughest driver's track in Europe. Again, showing the talents of Canada's bobsledders. Nick Polignato in fifth position after the first heat with Brakeman Neville Wright. Another really strong push to put them into a lead over Rico Peter and Alexei Stulnev. The Russian also moving up the order after a disappointing first heat. Polignato in the lead with four to go. Bronze medalist a year earlier, Oscar's Kibermanis was also looking like a potential medal contender here. But the gap from fourth where he'd been after the first heat to third was a big one. He had just enough to stay in front of Polignato, a top four finish, but there would be no medal because ahead of him were two local heroes. Nico Walter comes from Freital, just south of Dresden, about a 30 minute drive. This is his home track. He's the bronze medal position after the first heat and the winner of the season opener in two-man in Lake Placid didn't disappoint his fan club, putting himself into the lead with two sleds remaining. Next up, Francesco Friedrich, the four-time two-man world champion. He too comes around 30 minutes to the track from his hometown of Pirna in Saxony. And with Martin Grotkop, he's won three of the last four races on this track. He took the lead from Nico Walter, but there was still a sled to go. And that belonged to Justin Cripps and Alex Kopax of Canada. They tied a 13-year-old start record in the first heat. They broke it in the second, and a slender lead all the way down the ice was enough after three silver medals and two fourth places for him to claim his first win of the season in two-man, the sixth different victor from six races in the 2017-18 season. Friedrich and Walter for the home team also on the podium, but birthday boy Cripps continues to extend his World Cup points advantage with just two more races remaining before the Olympic Games.